Belgium's Deputy Prime Minister Petra de Sitter has strongly advocated for sanctions against Israel in response to the recent bombings of hospitals and refugee camps in Gaza. She condemned the inhuman drain of bombs and criticized Israel for disregarding international calls for a ceasefire. Petra specifically called for the European Union to suspend its association agreement with Israel, which promotes economic and political cooperation. Expressing deep concern over the situation, she emphasized the urgent need for decisive action against Israel's military actions. The Deputy Prime Minister's stance reflects growing international pressure to hold Israel accountable for its actions in the conflict with a focus on imposing sanctions to address the ongoing crisis in Gaza. In a recent statement, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed concern over Israel's military operations in the Gaza Strip. He criticized the high number of civilian casualties, particularly children, stating that it indicates something clearly wrong with Israel's actions against Hamas. Guterres acknowledged violations by Hamas, such as using human shields, but emphasized the disproportionate civilian toll. He urged Israel to recognize the negative impact these operations have on global public opinion and emphasize the urgent humanitarian needs of the Palestinian people. Italy is mobilizing aid for Gaza amid the Israel-Hamas conflict. Italian Defense Minister Guido Crossato announced the dispatch of a hospital ship with 170 staff, including 30 trained, in medical emergencies to treat victims near the Gaza coast. Additionally, Italy plans to send a field hospital to further assist in humanitarian efforts. Two Italian naval vessels are already in the region, and Crosetto indicated the possibility of keeping them there to support ongoing relief operations. Italy's swift response aims to provide critical medical support and aid to those affected by the conflict in Gaza. South Africa has taken a diplomatic stance in response to the Israel-Hamas conflict. The country plans to summon Israeli Ambassador Eliav to issue a formal reprimand known as a demarche. Zain Dankor, the Director General of South Africa's Department of International Relations and Cooperation, confirmed the decision. Although he did not disclose the exact reason for the reprimand or provide specific details about the protest, the move underscores South Africa's diplomatic approach in addressing the ongoing conflict, signaling its concerns through established diplomatic channels. The demarche represents a formal expression of discontent, highlighting the seriousness of the matter and emphasizing South Africa's stance on the situation.